What's up travelers, welcome back to the channel, SJ Aviation HQ, coming at you with another video for you guys today. Today we have the model review of the Emirates Boeing 777-9X by Gemini Jets. This model here has the folded wings version, or the folded wingtips of the aircraft, and the configuration of where it is uh, at a gate, or taxi on the apron or somewhere, uh, no, or not on, in the event of of takeoff or landing, let's just say that. Uh, this model here was only released a couple of months ago alongside the Virgin Atlantic A330 Neo. Go ahead and check out the unboxing I did of those two aircraft in the top right corner right about now. And in a few moments or so, there will be a, in a card in the top right corner leading to the Virgin Atlantic A330 Neo's uh, model review. But of course, if you made it this far into the video and you like what you see, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you think about this model um, and, and of course the release of this aircraft. Of course, this, this aircraft was also released alongside the version of it having um, the, the flat wings or the, 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 uh, the, you know, the wingtips that weren't folded. Um, I did actually get both of them, so th that one should be coming very, very soon. But of course... If you are new to the channel and you like and you, you like what you see, the model, uh, the content of model plane reviews, model plane unboxings, airport updates, infinite flight ventures, and more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. Then that bell icon to be notified when videos go live on the channel. I have a great bunch of videos coming very very soon to the channel, including the unboxing of a very 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 big model that I recently purchased. Um, from Gemini Jets is I think April release, their most recent release um, and I am so excited to have that model arrive, it is going to be absolutely huge um, so in this portion of the video I'm going to be reading out some information about Emirates as an airline and re then reading out some information about the airframe and the operator of this aircraft and then later on in the video, the second part of this video, I'll be showcasing the model up close to the camera, giving you some nice up close shots of the model. So let's go ahead and read out some information for you guys. So founded on March the 25th, 1985, and commencing operations on October the 25th, 1985, Emirates is one of the two flag carriers of the United Arab Emirates, and is primarily based in Dubai, in in the United Arab Emirates. From its hub at Terminal 3 at Dubai International Airport, it operates to more than 150 cities in 80 countries across all continents except Antarctica. According to Planspotters.net, Emirates has an aircraft fleet consisting of 264 aircraft, which includes 119 Airbus A380s and 144 Boeing 777s in terms of the family of aircraft, which makes up uh, 10 777-200 LRs, 123 777-300ERs, and 11 of the of the 777 freighters. In July of 2014, Emirates announced an initial firm order for 100, 150 Boeing 777X aircraft, which ma made up an order of 35 777-8s and 115 777-9s. But later reduced the order in December of 2019, initially from 150 to 126, and then secondly, a few months later, from 126 to 115. I believe that is just the 115 of the 777-9s at this moment. I believe what they did is uh, they, because they, they did eventually go ahead and, and, re, and order the 350-900s and of course the 787-9s. And I believe the 35 of the initial order for the 777-8s went into the, the split of the 787-9s and 351-900s. Uh, sorry, I'm looking forward to seeing the new livery of uh, Emirates on the, on the A350. Which um, the first one has been announced in terms of registration. Which is Alpha 6 Echo X ray Alpha or uh, A6 EXA, um, which I am looking forward to seeing the new, the new livery on the, on the new wide bodies. Uh, my question about this particular model of, in terms of uh, the Dash 9X um, is whether Emirates is going, so not, or Emirates is going to ask, of course, Emirates is going to ask Gemini Jets to 
uh, announce another model f um, in terms of of their product because you know Emirates has the has the licensing uh, or oh, sorry Gemini Jets has the licensing to, to to release Emirates products but it's like I kind of I kind of feel like um, or ask is the new livery or new livery sorry of Emirates going to be on an aircraft with a new registration or is it going to be the same registration as this particular model uh, because it'll be quite interesting uh, to see what happens because I wouldn't mind getting the new livery once it comes out you know because um, in my opinion the new livery of Emirates is actually quite quite fancy I mean it wasn't the the, the biggest of changes I mean uh, just it, just to think that the uh, the older livery, or the one that's more predominant on the aircraft before the current new livery on the A380, um, have been on the aircraft for almost two two and a half decades. So it's like Emirates were were um, you know uh, needing to to make a new change of of the new livery, or a new of the livery in general. I mean, of course. Um, the bigger titles on the A380 are, I kind of feel are a little bit too big in my opinion, but I feel like the the, the tail fin just looks absolutely fantastic, and of course the the red um, wing fence of the of the 380 looks fantastic as well. Of course, my my favourite colour is red, so I gotta be biased, eh? Um, so going into some information about this aircraft now, this aircraft does not have an MSN number at the moment. Uh, this, this aircraft it has the line number of 1620, which means this aircraft here was the 1620th uh, 777-7 to roll out at Boeing. This aircraft is a Boeing 777-9, uh, part of the 777-X uh, family. This aircraft was built and produced at Everett Painfield and is currently on order for Emirates. Currently waiting for the uh, certification of the 777X or 777-9X, which I hope comes in the near future as the 777-9 is an absolute beast of an aircraft. Um, this aircraft is regist registered as Alpha 6-Echo Zulu Alpha or A6-EZA. And of course, as I just mentioned, is a Boeing 777-9X. Has not yet been delivered to Emirates. Uh, but this aircraft is equipped with two General Electric GE 9X-105 Bravo uh, 1 Alpha engines. The biggest engines in terms of commercial aviation in history. Absolutely huge, these engines. I mean, um, if, if everyone thought the, the GE 90s were big, these are bigger. Um, so it's... so. I, the fuselage of, a, of an A320 or a, a 737 can fit inside the nacelle of a, of a, a, a G, GE9X engine, which is just absolutely staggering to think about, you know. The, the, fan, the fantastic side of aviation and the technology that goes into these aircraft is just, is just absolutely fantastic. And, and, that's, uh, and that's just part of the reason why I love this industry, you know. Um, of course, the aircraft uh, that brought me into loving aviation was, of course, the Boeing 747. And soon, coming very soon to the channel, will be the unboxing and, of course, the model review of the very, very last delivered 747, the Atlas Air uh, Apex Logic um, 747 8 freighter by uh, Phoenix Models. Um, looking forward to getting that out for you guys, looking forward to seeing it, that model will be an absolute beast of an aircraft, even though made by Phoenix, um, the 747-8 is actually quite a nice mould by, by Phoenix, but I'm, I'm going off topic at the moment, but yeah, I'm sure you don't mind, um, but now let's go ahead and check out this box. As you can see, it is quite an interesting box, an, an Emirates licensed box, of course, here we have in the top left corner, as if I can focus on it for you guys, here we have the Boeing 777-9 tunnels in uh, the Emirates font, and of course the aircraft is in 1 to 1 scale. Here we have the Emirates logo, this is where the uh, the model would be sitting, of course it's obviously not there at the moment, 
sitting to the side of where this video has been filmed. Here we have the uh, the part of the box where it says this aircraft has the folded wingtips. And moving over, over here we have the website of the Emirates store. Go ahead and check it out for everything Emirates. Trip, uh, www.emirates.store Here we have on the bottom panel we have the Boeing 777-9 tiles again in the Emirates font and the scale of the aircraft. Here we have it saying that it is a, an official licensed product from Emirates. Not too surprising to be honest. Here we have again the 777-9 tiles again in one to four scale and again where it says official licensed product. S same details on the top panel and the same I would say on the left panel. No it's not. Here we have it where it says it is a fo folder wing tips version and the white Gemini Jets logo. On the back at the top we have the aircraft type titles there in the Emirates font and then we have the specifications of this aircraft. The wingspan in flight 71.8 meters on the ground 64.8 meters that is the current wingspan of the 777 uh, 200LR freighters and of course the 777-300ER the non-ER is uh, I think it's like 60 odd meters or so so the wingtip uh, the rate wind tip is about, is about 4 meters long which is absolutely staggering if you think about, think about it like that the length of this aircraft, 76.7 meters, currently the longest ever commercial aircraft in the world, longer than the A380. Of course, not uh, the wingspan isn't isn't uh, wider, but it is the longest aircraft in the skies at the moment. When I say in the skies, it is being tested, so it does count. Um, and some more information as well, the, Emirate, the engine's General Electric GE9X, the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation and then there is some information about uh, this the order of the 777 um, 777-9 is expected to be ready by 2025 um, looking forward to seeing this aircraft in, in the skies to be honest 115 uh, on order in terms of dash nines by the aircraft of course uh, Emirates have the largest family of A380s triple sevens and soon to be the triple seven x um i wonder and i wouldn't i wouldn't put it put it past it if uh, emirates will eventually order or if they haven't done so already order the triple seven freighters um in terms of the dash eight freighter wouldn't i wouldn't bet a bit against it but anyway that is the reading out of the airline and the aircraft and showcasing of the box so let's go ahead and check out this ever standing model and here is the absolutely enormous and beautiful model, the Emirates 777-9 by Gemini Jets with the folded wingtips. In this portion of the video, I'm going to be showcasing the model up close to the camera, giving you some nice up close imagery of the details and the aspects of this model. And let's go ahead and dive in straight into the review of the model. First and foremost, zooming into the aircraft. And then picking up the model. As you can see, absolutely fantastic model. Hopefully I'm, I'm going to be able to uh, focus on the model as we go down. But starting off at the front of the aircraft, in the middle of the shot now we have the nose cone. That of course... Underneath that is where the weather radar is located. There is an instrument on board the aircraft that uh, is used to detect storms along the flight path and to give the pilots a visual indication of rainfall intensity and the possibility of turbulence. Uh, this enables the crew to navigate around any potential hazardous areas along the, f the assigned flight plan for the flight that they are on. Very cool indeed. Here is the window shields of the 777 and the window wipers there as well. Here is the the Boeing titles where it says that it is a Boeing 777-9. And then here we have the nose gear, the 
the nose gear door with Zulu Alpha or ZA, ZA, the last two digits of the registration, which of course is uh, Alpha 6 Echo Zulu Alpha. Here is the nose gear itself on the strut. As you can see, it does roll slightly, but it do, does still is rolling. Here we have the L1 boarding door, one of the two boarding doors on this aircraft, two main, main boarding doors that is. Here we have the Emirates logo is on it, as you can see on the top right of the door, they're just there. Moving down, here we have just here, the, pet the pedo tubes just there, just in the middle of the shot. Now the pedo tubes are used to measure fluid flow velocity during the flight and just below the E of Boeing is the AOA sensor or, or, or the, yeah, I think that is the angle of attack that offers a visual indication of the amount of lift the wings are generating at a given airspeed or angle of bank. Here we have the nice golden Emirates titles. Of course this is the now old livery of, of uh, Emirates so the new livery is just bold uh, gold text with no little border around it. So looking forward to seeing that livery being unveiled on the 777. That would be very, very nice to see. Here is the Emirates.com uh, website for Emirates. Do note that the new livery does not have the website on the side of the of the aircraft. So that's probably a, a good indication of uh, what's the new livery and what's not. Other than the, uh, the tail fin, of course. Here is... The beacon light on the top of the fuselage looking very cool indeed. Here is the SATCOM or Wi-Fi dome, Wi-Fi box as well. Used to provide the IFE on board the aircraft, IFE standing for Infla Entertainment. Uh, this would be the ICE um, um, Infla Entertainment on board the Emirates product. I have flown the Emirates 777 before. Go ahead and check out my first ever video on YouTube. Uh, the, which was the uh, 777-300ER's takeoff out of Christchurch going to Sydney in the top right corner right about now. Here is the L2 boarding door, one of the other boarding doors on this aircraft. Of course, the, you can see uh, L1 just here and L2 just here. They are the main two boarding doors on this aircraft. And here we have, in the middle of the shot, is the golden calligraphy in Arabic which says Emirates, I believe, backwards. Just in here is the landing light and or the wing light. If I can just get the the awesome, the nice glow of the light of the sun on it. Um, that is used in flight, of course. It is a, a requirement for the for the pilots to have this this uh, this light on between zero and ten thousand feet. They, if they wish to, they can turn the, turn the wing light or the landing light off once they get above 10,000 feet also used while the aircraft is on finals for landing and on the runway for takeoff here is the number one engine the massive GE9X engine as you can see it is absolutely fantastic the details on this model are fantastic I can't wait to see what Aviation 400 does with their 777-9X that would be quite cool. I have seen um, uh, images of of that being in production of um, at, on Facebook. That is looking fantastic. Go ahead and check out the model review I did of the Boeing Sun livery, um, the Boeing House livery. That is the, the red one that I did. Go ahead and check it out in the top right corner right about now in a few minutes or so. As you can see, the engine is absolutely fantastic. It is huge. Here is the Emirates logo, uh, Arabic logo just there, looking fantastic indeed. Here is the landing gear. As you can see, they do roll and they do tilt. Both of them do. Do apologize if you can hear any of the traffic in the background. It is rush hour at the moment here on the east coast of New Zealand. So I do apologize for that. Here is the wing of this aircraft. It is quite surprising to see that the 777-9X doesn't have the same kind of exit rows that you, that you could, or exit detailing that you can see on the 777-300ERs. Um, but it's, that is quite interesting to, to note out. But here we have, moving down, we have the folded wingtip with the, 
the flag that you can see on the tail fin, just in the background there. It's on the wing as well. It's also on the interior of the of the uh, right wing tip as well. You can see there. But here we have nicely done detailing of of the bottom of the of the winglet as well, where where it has the mechanisms of uh, where it can fold up and fold down. Here we have the red navigation light. On the other side, it will be green. We will see that in a moment. But very very cool indeed. Here we have the the. Uh, the L3 door that is used in the event of emergencies. Of course, the evacuation slide will fold out and you go down the evacuation slide. Also, a door here as well. This is the L4 door. But then there is the L5 door just here in the middle of the shot. Just try and focus on it for you guys. As you can see, the Emirates logo is on the top right of that door as well. So that is a, probably a sign that this is a boarding door as well. Can be used via uh, disembarking via the apron or um, entering, you know, boarding the aircraft via the apron as well. Little antenna on top of the fuselage just sitting there. Also one on the bottom somewhere, and this should be one. Interesting how there is one. Maybe there isn't a, a bottom antenna on the 777. And then here is the registration Alpha 6 Echo Zulu Alpha, looking absolutely fantastic indeed. Alongside the tail fin, and of course, the famous uh, UAE flag that is ever so seen on the Emirates livery, looking absolutely fantastic in the lighting at the moment. Um, it would be interesting to see what Gemini Jets do with the, with the uh, new livery on the 777X. Um, if it will be uh, Zulu Echo Zulu Bravo for the registration, or because um, usually what Emirates do, they don't usually uh, re-release the same registrations. Um, but it will be quite interesting to see what they do. Of course, um, Echo Alpha uh, Echo Zulu Alpha will be the first one to be um, delivered, and it will not be in this livery. So it's pretty interesting to be honest. We have an ambulance going past at the moment, so another. We um, indication that I am living on the main highway of the country, so I do apologise for that uh, noise in the background. Just having a look to see if this aircraft has a tail light. Uh, doesn't seem or appear to have one, which is actually quite interesting. Usually, it would have a, t a tail light on the elevator just here, little little um detail there but it's not there so we won't um, go over that this time around but here we have the APU auxiliary power unit looking fantastic indeed very cool let's have a look at the other side of the aircraft looking at the differences on this side for some reason the the my phone has started has started to dim the light a little bit so I apologize for that apologies for that as well but here we have the other side of the aircraft. This is the right hand side, the other side being the left hand side. So this side, this side's uh, doors would be the R doors, R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 just there. Uh, of course the letter R is uh, abbreviated for the word right as this is the right hand side. Other side being the left hand side, that's why there's the L. Here we have the forward baggage compartment on this side. And then going down we have the, the rear baggage compartment just there. We should have another one just behind that just about here or that could be on the other side let me just have a wee look it is not on the other side interesting how that detail isn't there uh, there we have the Gemini Jets logo just in the middle of the shot and there is the upside down belly of the, of Emirates uh, here we have this side green navigation light in the middle of the shot just there. 
For those that don't that don't know the reason why the 777-9X or the 777-8X or the X family in general have the folded up wingtips is because it, it's used to uh, make sure that the aircraft can fit in the gate so then the the uh, airports aren't actually uh, modifying the, sp uh, the space of the aircraft uh, a bit like how airports around the world had to um, make room for the A380 and accommodating accommodating that so that's pretty uh, quite innovative in terms of Boeing uh, how they did that here is the number two engine of the General Electric GE9X engine looking absolutely fantastic indeed um, wonderful wonderful model and then looking at the bottom of the aircraft here in the middle on of the shot is the nose gear doors that of course is where the nose gear would retract into when the aircraft has just departed the airport moving down we have the ever so famous ever so popular scene popularities or ever so seen emirates belly titles um in the red background and the white font and there is the stand uh, the stand hole where the stand would be uh, put into where the t is and there's you can see the um the gear the landing gear doors uh, the grooved lines you can see just there and uh where the es is just here very nice indeed there is the underside of the engine. There is the nice wee um, bit of the engine there. And nicely detailed slats of the aircraft's wing. Very cool indeed. And here is the registration on the underside of the wing. Alpha 6 Echo Zulu Alpha. That, of course, Alpha 6 Echo Zulu Alpha, as I just mentioned. And there is the underside of the engine and the landing gear again. Gemini Jets logo. Absolutely fantastic. And down here is the entryway to the APU. So absolutely fantastic model. Haven't got it in your collection uh, already. Go ahead and get it. Uh, if you are fussy about the livery, of course... Uh, doesn't uh, I would still recommend it to anyone doesn't really mind me that Emirates came out with the new livery just after the release of this model um, of course this model I believe was in the same release as the Virgin Atlantic A330 Neo haven't gone ahead and seen that yet go ahead and check it out in the top right corner right about now the model review I did of that model um, I believe it was the February March release that this was out um, either that or the uh, January release not too sure I will put it in the bottom left corner right about now about the details about that but thank you very much for coming along and joining me for the model review of the Emirates Boeing 777-9X uh, by Gemini Jets with the folded up wingtips do look out for the model review of the Emirates 777-X with the folded down wingtips that should be coming in an unboxing very very soon for the channel uh, if you did enjoy what you saw, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you enjoyed as it would help me out in the long run. Uh, share this video to your friends or anyone who may be interested in checking this out as well. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ding that bell icon as I have a great bu a bunch or a lineup of videos coming very, very soon. More model reviews, more airport updates. I have an airport update in the works. The third part to the 787 series and of course unboxing galore coming very very soon including the very massive unboxing of the 1 to 20 scale c5 galaxy that i recently purchased from by gemini 200 which was released in i believe the april release uh, so that will be coming very very soon so look, do look out for that go ahead and check out my social channels below the links will be in in the description the instagram page for my international airport you can see the back the in the background the airport map go ahead and check that out for the uh, updates regarding the uh, ins and outs of the airport and whereabouts on social media of course being youtube and of course instagram 
other Instagram accounts will be the Flight Simulator um, uh, account as well for Infinite Flight, and of course the Liberty Designs account, and of course the Plane Spotting account as well. Um, my airport website is below as well. Of course, go ahead and check that out via a PC or a laptop, as of course that is the place to uh, view it in a professional manner. It is not yet compatible for a mobile device, so go ahead and check it out via PC or a laptop. The Twitter account is below as well, and of course, go ahead and check out my Patreon account if you want to support my movements around social media even further. Help me out with the funds for um, setting up a studio for my YouTube creating, a video creating as well, and of course, live streaming and uh, the expansion of my model airport as well. So go ahead and check out the, all the links below. So that will be it for today's video, so thank you very much for coming along and joining me for the model review of the Emirates Boeing 777-9X by Gemini Jets with the folded up wingtips. If you did enjoy what you saw, go ahead again, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up uh, and comment below what you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel below, dim that bell icon to miss, don't miss out for new videos coming out for, on the channel very, very soon. And of course, hopefully you, you enjoy what you saw. If you did enjoy what you saw and want to see some more, on the left hand side soon enough will be the most recent video on the channel. On the right hand side soon enough will be the four playlists of model reviews I've done so far on the channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.